All right. Well, we're going to find out well, how well, how, how we do here with this live because my internet, my streaming here, I live out in the boonies. So if you could see outside, you'd probably see. Uh, so hopefully the quality of the video will be good. If anything, the content will be good as, as I'd like to say. So well, as we give a little bit of time here, uh, see if anybody shows up, what I want to do is talk to you about, we just put out a podcast. Okay. We're going to talk some numbers. We're going to talk about a few things here, but we just put out a podcast that just went live about an hour ago. We had a little glitch with that. Um, for some reason we dropped about a, two minutes of audio, but we went in and did a quick edit. We fixed that. So that is up running and working as it should. I tried to do something a little different. We tried to put in and edit in a commercial. What I downloaded to my computer, listened to yesterday, sounded fine. Evidently, when we uploaded it to the host um, and went live with it, um, it dropped that segment of the audio out. So have no idea where it went. <clears throat> I guess it's lost up in the cloud someplace, of all places. So. That's technology at its best, okay? I got my coffee here with me. We are on the beach. So right here, it says my name, the beach, Bethany Beach, Delaware. I don't know if you've been there. It's a great place. Been a while. Been a, been a few years. But hey, um, before we jump into some of the numbers, what the podcast today is about, we were talking with Heinz Ruki. He is with uh, Deep Blue. Uh, they are a Swiss-based company. And we are, we were, or we are, talking about this right here this is the blue fox st1 swimmer alert okay and yes this is an empty box okay empty box empty box but what contains in that box is this right here boom that yeah, right there the st1 and we were talking on the podcast uh, today that if you listen to it and I highly recommend you go listen to it and because there's some great information there but on that podcast I want you to get a look at the the size of the wrist that this would fit okay this is this will fit I mean we're talking infant size okay now that dial or that piece on the surface there that's probably bigger than the child's hand but the point of that is is this will fit a an infant size wrist okay just to give you an idea and i'm not the skinniest guy in the world but if we adjust this that's the size of the wrist there i could probably slip this on without even taking it apart and let's see. Yep, oh, it's going. Yep. It goes around my hand, as you can see. So that would fit just about any size person, I, I believe. Anything, you know, at least up to my size or bigger. <laughs> Not saying that I'm Mr. Fat Man, but anyways. So, but this has, just so you understand, this has a... Um, there's what it shows there. It has a balloon inside. And Heinz in the podcast describes the balloon. He refers to it as a pyro, okay, an explosion. And at the kelsgroup.com, okay, forward slash podcast, episode number 49, there is a video of the ST1 in uh, basically how it works as a demonstration in a pool, in a pool setting. Um, you have these additional, once, once it would be used, um, you can replace this cartridge with this here. And that's, it basically goes in, and that was what contains the balloon and also contains an alarm. And you'll see that on the website. So um, pretty awesome deal, pretty awesome thing as far as what it works. It's a very affordable and uh, just recently got, FTC approval here in the United States. Uh, they're um, actively been in business for quite a while, 
Uh, this is new technology. Uh, this has only been on the market since the probably uh, November, December, first of the year. Um, they are in Switzerland, Norway, around Europe, um, Australia, and they're going into Japan. And uh, it's getting a lot of rave reviews. It is Swiss-based technology, so any, if anybody knows the Swiss makes pretty – the Swiss right there you can see. Let's see. I don't know. Can you see that? Little logo. Yep. Um, you know, the Swiss, um, they don't make cheap stuff. Uh, I think everybody knows, you know, the Swiss makes a quality product. And, uh, and from this standpoint, I would say it's a quality product with this being said. So, all right, get over to kelsgroup.com forward slash podcast, and you can check that out. So what I want to do is talk to you a little bit about numbers, okay? And these numbers may not mean anything to you, but I will explain, okay? 718,000, okay? I don't know. Can you see that? 718,506 and 123,733. So that's 123,733 or 718,506, okay? Now, let me explain this to you and why, why I want to tell you about this. And... The reason, this is an Alexa ranking. You can go to alexa.com, okay, and you it's an Amazon, I believe, yeah, yeah, Amazon-owned company. It's not Alexa like your little um, thing you talk to, okay. This, they rank, they rank websites. Every website out there, they track every website. I don't know how many websites there are. I mean, we're probably talking millions upon millions, hundreds of millions of websites. And it's, they track the website traffic. And they'll start ranking websites somewhere between 10 million to 15, 20 million, okay? Um, if you get enough traffic, if there's enough data to the website. Our website is approximately eight months old. We, we started the website, thekelsgroup.com, and our podcast. We started in about the end of May, June of last year. So we're about, what's that, uh, eight, nine months into our project, I guess you could call into our movement with the hashtag Drowning Warriors. And uh, that is our ranking, our Alexa ranking, okay? Our global rank, this is worldwide, all, you know, is 718,506. You can go to alexa.com, put in your website, and you can get your rank and see where you are. In the United States, we rank 123,723 out of how many websites in the United States? Okay, and I challenge you to go check your ranking on your website. Go check other people's web rankings website. I think you'll find that we are leading the pack. Okay, you can go to poolsafely.gov, check their ranking. Matter of fact, uh, let's go see if we I can pull that up here while we're chatting. But anyways, um, so you know you can go to poolsafely.gov and get their ranking. The last I checked, they were about one point three to one point four million in the world and around three hundred and fifty thousand in the U in the United States. So what that tells me is we are reaching so many new people outside of the water safety drowning prevention space. Okay. Um, not only with our story but your story. Okay. You know, drowning warriors, we are a new breed of people and we call those people drowning warriors because we wage war every day with people that just don't believe that it can happen to them. Okay, and as I approach the 26th year anniversary of my daughter's drowning, okay, I'm, I'm really here to ask for your support because part of this is utilize the hashtag Drowning Warriors on all your social media posts. And the reason why is because we're sharing stories. We're sharing stories. Um, last week's episode was, was with Deborah Tomlinson. If you know Deborah's story, and her son Christopher story. We share that on our podcast, episode number 48. Okay. But he drowned and he wore a face mask and that filled with water. Okay. Now, you know, we can only surmise what possibly happened, but you know, she shared that story, heart wrenching story to make a difference in the world. Uh, Brooke Bennett, three time Olympic gold medalist swimmer in the 400 meter and the 800 meter freestyle comes, you know, started at a very young age. We share her story of uh, going through becoming an Olympic champion and then 
you know, going into the swimming state as a parent uh, of two young children, um, going through infant swim, things like that, and her children learning how, her oldest learning how to float, and then she starts her own swimming business called B&B Swim Schools, okay, outside of Tampa. So, you know, we tell people stories, all right? We want to tell your story, but we have a lot of stories that we're telling. And we are going to be taking those stories on the road, okay? Putting them in format like this. But again, it's all about the messaging and telling your story and be effective with that from day one, just like what we talk about. Because drowning does not discriminate, and it shows up when you least expect it. It is fast and it is silent. Deborah can, you know, tell you that it's fast, okay? Um, and it was silent. Nobody knew. There was adult, okay? So with that being said, let's talk some other numbers, okay? Let me jot this down. This is, this, this is going to be a new project. This is our whiteboard project. Got it? I don't know. Got this idea. Those of you that are old enough, was sitting around thinking, remember Ross Perot back in the presidential stuff? Well, there you go. But we're going to we're going to write down another number. Okay, there you go. Age is one to four. What does that mean to you? Okay, some of you probably know, but I'll I'll know if you were like I was twenty five years ago. All that tells me is that's children age ages one to four. Doesn't mean anything to me other than that. Okay, but let me tell you. Ages one to four, what does that mean? It means drowning is the leading cause of accidental death to children under between the ages of one to four. Okay? This can make a difference in that. It's not, it doesn't replace swim lessons. Don't get me wrong. Don't nobody send me a bunch of emails that says, hey man, I'm off my rocker, or whatever the case is. This is not a replacement. Understand, it is not a replacement for swim lessons. It is not a replacement for layers of protection is not a replacement for anything. It is an addition to, okay, redundancies, okay? You know, you, you got this big domino. The, the point of this is, is what if, you know, the big domino, you don't want to get all those little dominoes to knock over the big domino, okay? This is just one of those dominoes in that layer of protection, all right? The reason why I'm saying this is because of this right here. All right, let me write this down for you. My daughter, if you know my story, my daughter drowned eight feet away from a lifeguard, but she was three years old. Okay, three years old. She was two weeks before her fourth birthday. So basically, she would have fit in there about like right there. Okay? Ages one to four is the leading cause of accidental death, okay, and drowning. And we can get into some other number. We'll probably talk about that tomorrow. And, we'll, you know, and so let me, hey, being I'm having fun with this whiteboard, let me, let me keep going. And tomorrow I'll share with you what is the second, okay? What's the second leading cause, okay? Or what age group that is. And we'll talk about that. Those of you probably, there's a lot of you probably know that. But that's fine. I'm not preaching to you, okay? Hopefully, you'll share this content and share it with somebody else that might see it. Let's talk about another number and, and why what I'm talking about is so important. Okay? Right there, 88%. That's not a profit margin, okay? If you're trying to make 88% profit, that, that, that'd be a pretty decent profit margin if that's what you made. But that's not what it, that's not what it is. 88%. So when we're talking those drownings, ages one to four, 88% of them happened with adult supervision. That meant they happened while there was an adult present. My daughter drowned eight feet away from a lifeguard. An adult was present. She, she was there with a babysitter. She was there with, you know, dozens upon dozens upon dozens of other adults. And not one of them saw her. She was in the water for approximately eight to ten minutes. Not one of them saw her. Not a zilch, zero. So with that being said, that's why it's important, okay? That's why 
you know, this technology is important. That's why layers of protection, barriers, okay? Know your ABCs, all right? ABCs of water safety. Adult supervision, keep your children an arm's length away. Know your barriers, barriers such as pool fencing, okay? If you're not sure what to talk about, go check out Eric Lupton's page, Lifesaver Pool Fence, okay? They have distributors all over the place. Um, if you can't find them, you know, uh, message me, and I will definitely send you the link and uh, with what all he's about. And so, you know, the point of this is, is we each serve a particular part of the problem, but we can come together and solve the big problem. And we are having a huge push between now and July, because uh, my daughter's anniversary of her drowning was June 15th. Um, the other day was my birthday. So from March through July 3rd, and her anniversary is, uh, if I didn't mention it, is June 15th, the day that she drowned. So we're having a big push. We're asking for your support. If you'd like to learn how you could support, not only by utilizing our hashtag, it's not our hashtag. I don't own it. You can, you can use whatever hashtag you want. You can add this hashtag, hashtag Drowning Warriors, to your arsenal and start using that on a regular basis. Okay? So with that being said, um, I would really, really... Uh, implore you to go to the kelsgroup.com forward slash movement. Okay, kelsgroup.com forward slash movement. Or you just go to kelsgroup.com, look on the icon that says join movement. All right, you know, you'll, you'll see my beautiful looking face, bald head, whatever. Um, I don't know. Call me whatever name you want. But you'll see me. I'll talk to you for about a minute or so. But the biggest thing is, is there's multiple ways that you can support the, you know, the mission. There's multiple ways that you can support, you know, water safety, drowning prevention, because I believe true advocacy is that you advocate for all water safety and all drowning prevention. When you advocate strictly for what you talk about and strictly about what it is that you do, or are not so much you do, but in other words, if I was to advocate for this right here, and that's all I was to advocate for and say, you know what, this right here will solve the problem and end drowning. You know, that to me, that is not true advocacy. This is just one piece of the puzzle, one piece of the problem, one tool that can solve the problem. That advocacy is I support what these guys are doing. Is it right for every situation? May not be. But it's not my place to determine that. It's my place to let the market determine that and let the individual who is looking for that to determine that. You know, I stand behind these guys that develop this technology. I stand behind these people that do that talk about this stuff. I stand behind you and what it is that you talk about. You know, we want to tell your story. Heinz was nice enough to let take his personal time. He's in Switzerland, but his personal time to get on the phone with us to do an interview and talk about his ST1, okay, because – he believes that it can make a difference in people's lives. This is a very affordable option, works in your backyard, take it on vacation with you, whatever the case is, all right? So with that being said, guys, I appreciate your time. Um, we will be doing this every day at 1 o'clock, okay, provided I don't have an interview or provided we don't, but we will, we will announce when we're doing this. But every day we will come on here and talk about something, and I will utilize my whiteboard. So, like I said in the beginning, you know, I remember those days, Ross Perot, for us, those people that are old enough to remember Ross Perot, he used his whiteboard. So, this is my whiteboard show. So, get it? Whiteboard. Got it. All right. Get it? Got it? Whatever. So, hey, guys. Appreciate your time. Get over to thekelsgroup.com forward slash podcast. Check out our podcast. Go back and check out our other episodes. Listen to our other stories. Listen to those others that are on the front lines every day fighting that fight, waging that war with people that just don't believe that it can happen to them because drowning does not discriminate. It shows up when you least expect it, and it's fast and silent. Make sense? So join the movement, hashtag Drowning Warriors, and we will see you tomorrow. So hasta la vista, baby. Ha, <laughs>